Hello everybody, Spider here, the Five Car Podcast, coming to you once again, being joined here in the studio by Dimitri Poison Ivy, my man, how are you, bro? Yeah, I'm good, man, how are you? Man, you look great, man, you just went to war, uh, I want to say like over a week ago, man, yeah. and, and you seem pretty good, man, I mean, uh, you had a war of a fight, I mean, there's a lot of questions I'm going to be bringing up, but uh, this was for uh, Fury 63, of course, it happened on a Sunday, bro, yeah. um, that fight going in, man, I mean... How are you feeling right now? Let me ask you that. Uh, I, I mean, I feel good. I mean, I have like you know, you know, the obvious, you know, bumps and bruises, the aftermath of you know weight cut and training, oh, yeah. and, and you know, and then after the fight and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Man, and there's a lot of questions I gotta ask, bro. I mean, one of them, of course, I mean, your opponent, man, Estevez. I mean, yeah. both both you guys are local to San Antonio, mm-hmm. and for me, this was a big. Big fight, more more than just bragging rights. This yeah. was just like you know what? It should have been a title fight, man. Yeah. And my from from my view, man, and a lot of people posted as well. But um, it should have been a title fight, and you know, you, you should have had a title right now, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it's it's kind of it's kind of frustrating, but at the same time, I, I really don't. Um, uh, you know, I maybe I'll take that back. I may you know complain here and there a little bit, but then at the end of the day, I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, I just stay humble, keep my head down, and. You know, I just train, um, but it is frustrating because it's the guy that fought, um, um, I forgot the guy's name, uh, and I think this guy's name is Andreas uh, Quintanilla or something like that. Right. Um, he fought the guy that I fought uh, for peak, um, and he turned around, fought Cameron Graves, yeah. and... I'm not knocking on Cameron Graves because Cameron Graves is a good is a good opponent. Uh, he's a good fighter. Uh, I respect him uh, most. You know, cool down earth guy. But he when he fought him, uh, he went the distance. But then when I fought Cameron back in the day, and this is when Cameron's kind of coming up. You know, uh, you know, he's a savage and stuff right. like that. And um, you know, and I and I beat him. You know, within like in the first round. And he turned around and he gets a he gets a he gets a title fight yeah. right after that. And I'm you know I'm like sitting back yeah and I, and I get it because I had lost to uh, Jesse Jesse Butler right. But you know I always say like look at the caliber guy that I fought and right. look at the caliber guy that, that you know that these all these other opponents that I fought have, you know have fought. So but like I said at the end of the day I just chalk it up I'm like whatever I'm like I said keep my head down and just keep training so. No, no, for sure, man. And of course, I mean, I'm, you know, Eric Garcia is doing a great job, man. Yeah. I mean, he's got a, just like Dana's always saying, like he's right. got 200 plus employees. I yeah. mean, he's got a lot of people that, that he has to juggle around and kind of put in the right spot, you know. Yeah. But uh, just just from my perspective, man, I saw that and I was like, you know what, man, that, that should have been a, you know, three round fight, man. Yeah. I mean, a title box should but uh, it, it was three rounds, but uh, five rounds, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah that, I, I would agree on that too. I mean, I, for me, I mean, I don't care if it was, you know, three, you know, three rounds or five rounds or whatever, but you know, it's if we if it was five rounds, I would have I would have finished him in the fourth. Right. He was already you know going into that fight. He was already uh, after the first round and stuff like that. Yeah, like I survived a um, uh, you know a, a, you know a ground like a ground war. You know, right. so, You know, you know he was going for you know my took my back and he was uh, you know trying to finish it or whatever, but. All the hard work and, and drilling and stuff like that that we did, um, you know, with my brother and my other teammates and stuff like that, um, constantly drilling, uh, you know, that type of stuff like that, staying calm, not getting overexcited, not exploding out of stuff. Um, so I just stay calm and yeah. even him was squeezing him. It wasn't like enough pressure to where like, okay, all right, okay, I know this is uncomfortable. It was more like, okay, he's squeezing him, but I had the right um, defense, right. you know, which is turn my head. And the pressure is off, so I'm like, okay, now I can work from here. I just stay calm from here. Like I said, it's it was all all in the drill and stuff like that. And then for me, I, I know uh, Frank, uh, you know, one of my head uh, the head coach right. we have. Uh, he 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 doesn't he doesn't like. Well, it's like two different things. He doesn't like I do that, but then at the same time, he 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 understands. But for me, sometimes. I have this, I have this mentality like, oh, okay, you're good at that, okay, well, let, let's see, you know, let, let let's test it out. Like, oh, you go striking, okay, <laughs> let's let's strike. Okay, yeah. you go wrestling, no, okay, no, I'm better. Okay, no, I'm better wrestler. I'm a better jits. I'm a better, um, you know, striker. And then actually, me, uh, 
right before I walked out, my brother told me, he, he made me repeat that, you know, right before, uh, during the warm-up, right before we left out, um, you know, to do the walk and stuff like that. And that got me, that got me pumped, and then that got me ready. So, yeah, man. No, you see, and, and I got to ask you, bro, because, I mean, he did get your back twice, I believe, in yes. that fight. Yes, and, and both times, you look comfortable. I mean, I saw you, and I said, okay, he's not freaking out, or you're not, you know, because you, you knew where his arm was, and you, yes. you know what I mean? So I was like, okay, well, he's, he's doing good. And for me, uh, when he grabbed that arm, Oh, yeah. I mean, how, honestly, man, I mean, how deep was that arm? It, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, everyone thought it was deep or whatever, but if you look at it, my, I'm like, I like, if you know, if the, if you roll with me before and, uh, you know, you know my, kind of my ground game and stuff like that, you know that I like arm locks. So when he had my arm locked, I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, I'm good here. I was able to move my arm, yeah. move my elbow and stuff like that. And then it, it was just funny because like a couple of weeks ago, um, one of the um, jiu-jitsu coaches at a BTT, Sergio, he actually uh, showed a, uh, uh, you know, kind of going back over the, you know, defense for, for arm lock, right. you know, for arm bar and stuff like that. So um, when he got me in it, I was like, oh, it's not tight. Oh, I'm good. I'm still moving. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, now I was just picking my moment where I need to go to move out, uh, to, you know, to escape and stuff like that. And I was able to get out. Um, but yeah, no, it wasn't deep. Like everyone oh, okay. thought it was deep, but it's not deep. Yeah, because like, I mean, from it. the camera <laughs> angle, man, it, I was like, damn. I mean, it looked like it was like right, right on your shoulder. So I was like, damn. Dude, yeah. I wonder if he, he has it tight. But I mean, yeah. I mean, defense wise, I mean, you, you were good though. Yeah, like I said, it, like I said to people, like it wasn't deep. Like I tell, like I said in the interview, like a lot of people, they sleep on me, right? Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of people think, uh, a lot of people forget that I'm a black belt in jiu jitsu, right. and I've been doing it since like 2000 and you know 19. You know, right. the training. Uh, so I'm not no slouch on the ground and stuff like that. And then, like, you know, I ended up taking his back. Even though if it didn't finish, it wasn't so much. I knew my position would, uh, was off when I snatched his neck. But right. it was just to make him feel threatened. And, like, yeah, I can snatch your I can snatch your neck and I can take your back as well. Right. So then from there, it was just, okay, now I'm just going to apply my pressure. Now I broke him. Now, okay, now let's start. You know, let's start yeah, implementing man. more pressure. Let's start doing it. And then that's what, in between the rounds, uh, you know, my Anthony and, and uh, Frank was just telling me, yo, stay calm. Hey, you're doing good. Hey, watch, you know, watch this. Watch out for that. But keep doing what you're doing. Keep that pressure. <laughs> so, yeah, man. <laughs> and, and, of course, I mean, it went all three rounds, man. Um, after the fight, I mean, how do you rate your performance? Uh, I mean, it could have been a lot better. Uh I have, I don't know, I have this, this stupid habit of people taking my fucking back, uh, you know, in the beginning of, you know, the beginning of the round. Right. And I, I you know, I'm still, like I said, I'm still working on that stuff like that. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's a fight, right? right. It's like, you can, I always, always chalk it up as this, like, you can train everything, be strong, be fit, your diet is on point, everything. But at the end of the day, it, it goes into, like, mental. Right. You know, when you get in those in those positions, it's like, okay, you're gonna give up or you're gonna fight, right? You know, it's the same thing with um, you know, when Volkanovski fought um uh, Ortega, you know, yeah. he had that neck and you know, he thought he was gonna be done, you know, but then he just you know, he got out of it. It's the same thing, yeah. right? It's all mental. It's like, okay, I'm good here. Just stay calm and just work out of it. Like right. just don't give up. Um like I said, it's a it's it's a fight. At the end of the day, it's a fight. Anything can happen, you know. And like I said, that's what I just chalk it up at. But at the end of the day, you know, like I said, I'm still working these things. I'm still working out. I'm still, you know, like I said, I'm still doing everything. Right. You know, no, yeah. So, um, but yeah. Definitely, man. And, and as of right now, I mean, uh, how long before we see you in the cage again? Uh, so I, uh, because I have, we have four of my training partners, uh, come in uh, their next um, oh, okay you know fights or whatever and with uh, with uh, my coach he kind of he kind of has like a uh I say like a kind of like a Trevor Whitman a white man right. kind of mentality like hey I'm only gonna so these two fighters are next so I'm gonna take all my focus on them oh, okay, then after gotcha. that then it's these two then after that then it'll be it'll be back to me again. right right so and then it's only fair because so Frank can have all of his attention to these two guys. Right. I'll be I'll be a dickhead if I just like no, it's me. Like you have to, 
you have to pay attention to me and then I'm not I'm not like that. No, no, no. Okay, I have my turn. I have my shine. So now it's theirs. It's their right, turn. Right, right. So, and of course, you'll be helping the long train. Yes, these guys. yeah, I know, yeah. Yep, and I'll be helping them. Uh, I'll obviously corner them and stuff like that. So, um, but right now we have uh, on deck, we have uh, Rogers. I don't know if you know Roger Smith. I know who he is. Um, yes, so he'll be making his pro debut. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah. And then uh, one of our... Uh, other training partners, uh, Josh Cannon, he will be making his amateur debut. Okay. Um, so I'm excited for both those guys. Um, they train on their asses off, and, and uh, you know, I'm being in their asses too, you know, helping yeah. them train, stuff like that, making sure to stay on point, especially for Roger, because this is this is his uh, pro debut. Right. So I obviously want to start off with a, uh, you know, with a bang. So no, definitely, that. man. Then after that, we have, um, uh, we have, Ruben Rodriguez, which is my other trainer partner, right. he'll be making his amateur debut Sweet. after that. And then, uh, uh, we'll s- <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a big surprise, but uh, my brother will be also uh, fighting here soon. Um, so, but with him will be, be a big, big, big surprise. Oh, nice, him. man. I can't so, wait for that one, bro. <laughs> but, yeah. So, like I said, I'm not trying to get, like, too much details or too right, much right. into it whatever, understand. because I don't want to... I don't want to say anything, but that's just what we have lined up for right, right now. No, definitely. And then, man. Um, and then after that, uh, actually, my wife is uh, pregnant, so oh, congratulations, we, man! Thank you. So we're actually expecting our second child in uh, September. So for me, I'm probably looking at maybe after after September. The only reason why, so I can kind of get uh, situated, you know, right. with the baby and stuff like that, and then. But like like I said, but I'm still training though. No, like, no, definitely, man. Yeah, like a lot of people. You know, like I said, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they sleep on me, man. Like, I don't I don't get a, which is fine, but I sit back and do it, right? Or I sit back and see it. I don't get enough, or as a team, we don't get enough credit. Right. 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 And uh, especially when going into these fights, you know, I was watching my fight kind of so I can, you know, fix all the stuff that I need to fix. And I was hearing the commentators, you know, they were sitting there saying like, oh, yeah, we, we went around the MMA community and we had asked. Like who win out of me and Estevez and stuff like that and you know obviously right everybody put thought Estevez was was going to win right but at the I always chalk it up as like oh well, it's fine but do you see the guys he fought and yeah. you see the guys that I fought yeah. right like I don't fight slouches whether if I lose I win or lose right 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 it's just the experience that I have and that's what came out in a fight oh yeah and, definitely man you know he he and I I. I don't know why people do that. Especially, I don't know. I don't know if it's a. I don't know. And he came out very aggressive. You know, even at the weigh-ins, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, I'm like, whatever, right? You know, you get, you know, get to my face. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm not gonna back down. Right. So, you know, I'm just looking him in his eyes, and then he did the same thing in the, in the fight. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Right. We will see, right? And <laughs> sure enough, you know, like I said, if if that first round, if I had ten seconds, ten more seconds, yeah. The ref would have stopped it because the ref had caught you after I after I, when I threw that right and I caught him and at the end of the bell the ref caught you yeah right caught him right and then it's like yeah like, yeah the game changer now right yeah now you in the fight right I'm not I gotta tell people like I study I train and I, I like I said just put in the work man yeah. I I don't I don't I don't go online you know talking you know, trash posting a bunch of stuff I barely post yeah right? I, I mean I barely. Which is kind of a negative thing for me because I have to, to you know, uh, promote myself and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, I, I just don't. I, like I said, I just keep my nose down. And I just train, man. Yeah. No, you see, and there's a lot of people like that, man. I mean, yeah. I know a lot of fighters, even in the UFC, that don't post much. You know, yeah. they they're training. They're just and like you said, I mean, and a lot of them, they they, they need a a hype guy. You know, definitely get yeah. get a page or get something going and yeah. have somebody have yes. somebody working that for you because. Yeah. You, it does help, man. I know you do have a page, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, just posting, you know, random everyday yeah. training or posting, you yeah. know. But um, but I mean, let, let me ask you this, man, mm-hmm. because um, right now, I mean, of course, you say you're training. Uh, mm-hmm. you have have you been training since the fight? Have you been back to the gym? Uh, actually, I'll be back today. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I just took kind of just took a week off just to let my body heal and, and you know, like I said, from the weight cut, no, oh, yeah, and training right. and stuff like that. And a lot of people don't know, um. We were supposed to fight, I think, I don't know when, uh, I think we were supposed to fight, like, some, like, a while back, and then they ended up pushing a fight for San Antonio to make it right. to the main event, 
So I ended up having like an extensive like fight camp. Yeah. So I was like, holy crap, dude. So it was literally like when he when they pushed the fight back, I literally like maybe took a week and a half. Not so much like off from the gym, but just the fight mentality yeah. kind of going into it and stuff like that. Kind of took like a week and a half off. And after that, we went right back into it. Oh, yeah, man. Fixing everything and stuff like that, so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a fight day, you know. They, yeah. they prep you up. You don't want to get too hyped up before the fight. Yeah, then, you exactly. know, So you got to kind of time it off. And, yeah, yes. But, man, I mean, like you said, dude, I mean, at your gym. I mean, you got a lot of black belts out there, man. There's a lot of, you know, beasts of, yeah. of a men out there training with you guys. Yes. And, um, you know, I mean, with these fights coming up, are, are they going to be for Fury as well? Uh, e Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, I believe I'm going to have, like, one more fight on my contract. Um um and then after that we'll see we'll see what happens uh, like i said so i have a so my management company um uh, movie sports entertainment right uh, which they have like a bunch of guys, good guys and they had like peter yawn and um they did have uh i forgot her last name but she she just retired uh, roxanne oh they, yes yes um they had her um uh, like I said, they have a bunch of uh, people, stuff from Bellator, people from One Championship, and yeah, stuff like that. So they're a really good um, organization. Um, they had reached out to me after my performance uh, against uh, Jake Heffernan. Yeah. And um, they had, uh, you know, like I said, they reached out, and I had signed with them. And, yeah, and then ever since then, you know, they've been, they actually been, been pretty good. Uh, keep checking up on me, seeing how I'm doing and stuff like that, see if I need anything. Yeah. Um, they're, yeah, so... It was a pretty, that was like a first step into like, okay, something like, okay, this is the next step. Now yeah. this is the next step. So, which is good. No, I mean, definitely. And I have, we have brought that up uh, yesterday. You know, me and Aaron Suarez were talking. And, and of course it helps because it, you, it's kind of, you, you leave it to them. You know, they're yeah. taking care of you. So they, they take care of the paperwork and the contracts and, and see what options are out there. Because yes. uh, one of the things that I was saying yesterday also was when it comes to management companies, a lot of them, I mean, they, they're the first ones that the UFC matchmakers go to, man. Yeah. They're like, hey, who, you know, we need a 145. Five, we need yeah. a, one, you know what I mean? So yeah. it, it helps because of that, you know. So, of yeah. course, they throw your name out there and boom. Yes. You know, yeah. there it is. Yes. And it, it, like I said, it, like you said, it, it, it eliminates the headache. Yeah. You know, um, they tell me, like, hey, so he got this coming up. And then, or like from, you know, in my position right now, like, hey, you know, I want to fight around this time or whatever. And like, okay, cool, got it. And yeah. then that's it. I don't have to worry about anything else. So I kind of have like that pressure, right? Like you don't have it, which I kind of did, uh, you know, coming up in, you know, uh, when I first started, um, yeah. you know, when they sit there and when a man, when a promoter asks like, hey man, you want to fight? And you have that pressure like, oh man, like should I fight or what, what should I do? And then you're like, yeah, and then you got to go back and so talk to your coach. And yeah. then it's like, so like I say, it eliminates the headache. Uh, so... And, and I'm going to bring this up only for, for um, because the fact, uh, the last time you were here, of course, I mean, Aaron Zawadi, we, we have brought up the fact that um, uh, when you first came into the sport, I mean, your opponent that you had, uh, both of you guys were on the same card. Jose Cabral was uh, out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah. and to see the the level, I mean, of course, he, he stopped, you know, competing for, yeah. for a few years, man. But um, the fact that he came back, and he looked good. He actually displayed some some great technique. I mean, he went in there, got that win. But, um, I mean, did you get to see the guy out there? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Actually, I did. Um... A little bit, like kind of clips or whatever. Right. And then I went back and, and, and actually watched it, kind of see what he did. I like, so he did good. He, like I said, he bro has a good, you know, he has a good wrestling, um, good ground game and stuff like that. Um, you know, me just my pers you know, I guess my, I guess intake of it, like looking on the outside, the, the, just fix his his, uh, his striking. Yeah. Um, kind of not sitting so much like in the pocket and waiting for the shot. I think. One of the shots had caught him, kind of like rocked him a little bit, and then that's when he shot in, and he was able to take the guy down yeah. and kind of hold him there and stuff like that. Which, which is, which are you just supposed to? You get right. hit. Oh crap! You know, I got, I got, I got to oh, yeah. <laughs> So, but um, yeah, like I said, I always had, you know, I always had respect for him and stuff like that. I was just always wondering like why he stopped. He, he's good, yeah. you yeah. know. Um, but he, like you said, it's it's crazy how, um, like, uh, like the difference. Like yeah. kind of like kind of coming up and stuff like that, you know. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to knock on him and stuff like no, that. No, not at all, man. I mean, the guy took some time off. So yeah, yeah, but yeah, he took course. some time off and stuff like that. And then, like I said, man, it's it's uh, you see like the, the you know the difference and stuff like that. So, yeah. But which is like I said, it's really good. Um, um, you know, for him to come back, uh, you know, fighting. And I said the same thing about um, about Cameron. Yeah. You know, you mean he had a good performance. 
and I was I would always root for you know Cameron stuff like that. He was all he was on a like a three fight kind of skid. Right. And then I'm like, man, dude, he Cameron's good. He's yeah, skillful. Yeah. He knows. And like I said, he was a champ. You know, for you know, for a reason. He's, he's really good. And uh, when he got the win, I got really happy. You know, he won. You know, although and I was able to you know watch it. You know, because right. I had to stand and wait. I was on standby until I walk out or whatever. But for him to to uh, to stop the guy and finish that guy, that was he was really yeah. good. So I was, you know, I was, I was happy. I was really happy for him. No, for sure, man. And I mean, of course, I mean, growing up or in the sport here, man. I mean, regional wise, I mean, of course, you guys have to. A lot of people have to fight each other, man, just yeah. to make their way up, yeah, you know. Yeah. So it does happen. But um, after the fight, everything's good, though, right? I mean, there's no animosity going in yeah. there. It's just a fight. Yeah, you know, like you said, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a fight. I mean, obviously, right, kind of going into it, you have a lot of motion. You put a lot of time into it. You put a lot of effort into it. So obviously, you know, there's gonna be, you know, a little bit, maybe a little bit of animosity and stuff. It's gonna like be that. due to the weight cut, man. Let's just say. Yeah, that. yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, for real. You're just like, hangry, hangry. Yeah. You call it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wanted to eat and drink and whatnot yeah. or whatever, but no, like I said, what there's a, there was always a, a respect, right? You know, um, you know, with uh, with us and like like I said, with with Ohana and stuff like that. Um, there was uh, so yeah, like I said, it's. No, no, for sure, man. I mean, cool. Yeah, you see, and and that's one of the things. I mean, when when it comes, I mean, for me as a fan, you know, even covering the fights, man. I mean, I hate watching locals fight, man. When it comes to like yeah. pro level, I'm just like, you know, unless it's a title fight, man. That's that's yeah. always my thing. It's like if you're gonna fight locals, make it a title fight, yeah. man, or, or get somebody from New Braunfels. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But uh, but the fact that it happened, of course, I guess it had to be, happen only for the fact that. Um, I mean, you've been on the run. I mean, yeah. the guy's, you know, a prospect. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure after this fight, he's going to come back with a vengeance, man. So, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, looking yeah. out for that, man. But um, yeah. it, it happened, and now uh, here, here we are, man. I mean, you're you're uh, you're ready. I mean, if, yeah. if, you, if you were to get that call uh, today, oh, yeah, man, I'm always, I mean, we'll yeah. just jump yeah, yeah. on like, it, Like, I'm always, yeah, like I said, I always stay, I always stay ready. I always stay. One thing about, if I have to say about my brother, that... Uh, like my close circle, which right. is like my teammates and stuff like that, coaches, they know how they know how he is. Yeah, he's he's a lot meaner than I am. Like it, ta- <laughs> it takes me it takes me a little bit, but with him, nah, he he does he doesn't care. He's like, let's go. <laughs> he's yeah, he's in he's in everybody's butt at the gym. Mm-hmm. Hey, you need to train and stuff like that. No, you need to do this. You need to do that. So he's always um. Like I said, he, he's in everybody's butt. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't stress it enough. He's he gets he's because he's passionate. Yeah, he's passionate, and he wants to see everybody win. He wants to see everybody eat. You know, he wants to see everybody, uh, you know, come up and have that same success like he did. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, when he was in the UFC, and then for him to get to be able to uh, to go back to the UFC. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. So even like I said. If I get that short notice call, I'm always I'm always be ready. Like I said, um, I fought two guys that you know are prospects. Right. You know, they're up and coming. You know, and you know, like I said, I, I fight anybody, anytime, anywhere. You know, I'm not. I'm. I never said no to no fight. I may have said no because it may be like a wrong time. Right. But as far right. as fighting the, the, the individual, but I not never because said of no. the fighter. Right. right. Like I said, man, I fought when I got signed. A lot of people. Forget that I got, I was signed to Glory, you know, I was signed to Glory Kickboxing. I fought the, you know, the number 10 ranked kickboxer there yeah. in Glory, you know. And, you know, even though it didn't go my way because it was, it was like a whole, like, style shock. Yeah. Not so much like, uh, uh, like, crap, but it was like, it was like, oh, man, this is like a, yeah, this is a different sport. Yeah. I can't <laughs> take downs, I can't do this. Well, like I said, which I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, my family that was that was my start that was my base right. is kickboxing you know from you know that I learned anything from Frank um but it's, it's still different because yeah. you have to modify and stuff like that but like I said man I, I fought like I said I fought the who's who's and stuff like that like I said it's just like I said going back to like that full circle we, we talked before we got on, yeah. on the podcast and stuff like that it's like everybody uh that's in my circle and stuff like that like you know like Ray I trained with Ray yeah. he's one of my uh one of our uh Trainer partners, right, stuff like right. that, and then you know all the guys from you know from uh, his gym and stuff like that, um, which they a lot of, which is really good for me because they have a lot of guys closer to my weight class. Yeah, no, definitely, um, man. And especially with Ray, and then with his input also too. Right. Um, which 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 help you know, but like I said, so that 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 circle. So then it's like, 
okay, so it was Ray in the UFC, then you got Jamal in the yeah. UFC, then you got, you know, a bunch of all the other guys getting these calls to the contender series and stuff like that. Then my brother got the call, so now it's like I said, it's just my, now it's my time. Yeah. Whether if it's one fight, one fight or two, but like I said, it, 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 it's, it's, it's my time. No, sure. And you see in uh, Alex Hernandez, you know, he yeah, got yeah. signed out, CJ. As yes, well, CJ, you know, yeah, so there, yeah, there's yeah. locals out there, man, mm -hmm. and for sure, you know, I mean, I, I told Darren Suarez, man, I mean, it's, it, it's time, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like, it's a uh, time for, uh, for Dana to pick up that phone and, or, you know, Nick yeah. Manier to be like, hey, you know, you, you're on, man. I mean, yeah. of course, they'll contact your uh, management, management company first. Yeah. But, um, but man, I can't wait for that, man. And, yeah. uh, whether it's the UFC or, or a title fight, like, yeah. you, like you, you know, you dropped it on the, you know, on your last fight, man. Yeah. But, uh, man, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to what's next. Yeah. Uh, you know, thank you for coming by here, man. I'm gonna oh, make yeah, this short and sweet, of course. But uh, is there anybody you want to thank out there, man? I mean, people, of course, your teammates, but uh, any sponsors? Uh, yeah, I want I want to thank um, uh, Aaron Lofton, which is one of my new uh, uh, sponsors that right. kind of helped me through, uh, you know, with the camp and stuff like that. Uh, I want to thank my uh, my nutrition, Lion Fit Foods, uh, uh, my other uh, supplement company. Uh, you know, future uh, nutrition day, you know, help me supply me with my, uh, you know, my supplements and stuff like that. They actually did a little promo for me, um, uh, which if uh, anyone needs uh, any supplements and stuff like that, right. um, go to the website and if you put in uh, Poison 10, you'll get, uh, Sweet, I man. think it's, I think it's 10% or 25% or something like that. Right, um, right. But they, but they get, get a discount get, off of it. Yeah, you get a Sweet. discount off of it. And uh, I imagine want to thank, uh, you know, like I said, my, my teammates, uh, you know, for letting me use their body, you know, to... to oh, yeah, man, definitely, like man. <laughs> you know, I want to thank, uh, you know, USA, uh, 